Who's the gangsta? What gangsta rap? Who's the gangsta? Who's the gangsta? Who's the gangsta? Who's the gangsta? What gangsta rap? Gangsta rap. YouTube salute. Congratulations to Eric B and Rock Kim. They have been inducted into Kofi's Universe Hip Hop Hall of Fame. All right, so if you're new to my channel, please thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So, so many people voted. We had 10 groups, and I said only three groups would be um, inducted. So, Eric B and Rock Kim are one of the top 10 groups. The other two groups, I will actually have um, a content about them in the next couple of days. So right now we have DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Jungle Brothers, Ultra Magnetic MCs, Public Enemy, Boogie Down Productions, BDP, Eric B and Rock Kim, EPMD, Gangstar, De La Soul, Run DMC, and Third Base. So um, Eric B and Rock Kim had the most votes. So I wanted to let everybody know that. So I was like, wow, I was amazed, but I'm not surprised at the same time. So let's break down some stuff about Eric B and Rakim. Like I said, man, they were signed to Fourth and Broadway when they released their first album, Paid in Full, which is a classic. In 1988, Follow the Leader, that album dropped on UNI Records. Um, in 1990, Let the Rhythm Hit Him. That was released on MCA. And Don't Sweat the Technique that came out in 1992 was released on MCA. Let the Rhythm Hit Him, it was a mediocre album. I didn't really care for that album, for real. I tried to listen to that album a couple of days, excuse me, a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, ah, but Don't Sweat the Technique made up for that. They disbanded the group after their fourth album. Um, Eric B. went on to actually create his own record label, 95th Street Records, if I believe. That's the name. Um, and... Which we call Rock Kim. He signed with Universal, and he delivered two albums in 1997, The 18th Letter, and 1999, The Master. He went on to sign with Aftermath Records, but you know that shit didn't work out <laughs> for real. That shit didn't work out at all. Then his album was shelved. I mean, they released so many great tracks. I mean, like I said, I ain't no joke. You know, that's one of the you know people love that track right there. Um, What's some of the other stuff they did, man? Like I said, so many people have sampled their music. We talking about Millie Vanilli, Jane. I mean, they sampled some of James Brown stuff to get on their album. Um, even um, the Payton Full. Even people like um, what you call it, Jody Watley, actually needed them to get on the track Friends in 1989, and they made top ten for the first and only time with that single Friends. Also, um, they never like sold or sold or like actually had to do a mainstream hit to get, you know, recognition. People already knew how they were, you know, with the real hip hop sound that is hard to have these days. And um, Eric B and Rakim, Eric B one of the a great DJ beat maker, Rakim arguably one of the best MCs of all time, for real. Like Rakim did so much for hip hop as far as like birthing so many people's styles. When you think about like um, Nas, Fabulous, Jadakiss, the list goes down the line. You know, Corrupt, Beanie Siegel. I mean, we can keep going. We can keep going. If it wasn't for Rakim, we wouldn't have another elite MCs that we consider to be top tier. Um, rappers of all time that Rock Kim was like the pioneer, the, the godfather of what a lyricist is. So when you think of Supreme being lyricists like a K Reno, a Mortal Technique, Lupe Fiasco, a Daylight, a Kimbata, uh a, a Kala, as far as like, you know, people around the world, you know, whoever you want to consider, Red Man. Method Man, Buckshot of Black Moon, you know, Rock Kim. When it comes to bar for bar, you couldn't fuck with him. And especially at that time, you couldn't fuck with no Rock Kim, no ifs, ands, or buts. But him and Eric B, that was one of the, the best duos to have in hip hop. One person on the beat, <laughs> DJing, 
one person on the microphone smoking that motherfucker like smoking Joe Frazier. Um, yeah, so congratulations. That's all I got to say. And um, like I said, continue, man, to vote for the new um, Hip Hop Hall of Fame, which is the West Coast Artists from 1990 to 1993, the solo artist. So the link is in the description. Post your comments below. Hoax Mash Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.